Last time I presented you with maybe some new information or at least given you a new idea of um, how to swing a golf club, especially how to start the club down. I want to expand on that, maybe give you another picture of why this is the right way to do it and why maybe you've been doing it wrong intuitively all your life. Um, what we were saying last time is that I want you to start the downswing. If you have got a normal backswing, a normal I'm saying that you've got basically a flat straight wrist at the uh, at, um, flat lead wrist at the top of your backswing. If you've done that, I want you to release the radial deviation, this hinging of the wrist in that direction at the start of the downswing, and then drop your arms and turn your hand. That's the kind of sequence of events I want you to mentally have in your hand. Although I know all the biomechanics says it all starts in your feet, it all starts in your hips, I know. But I want you to try it and see whether this helps. And I'm going to explain to you why I want you to do that. When you look at a golf swing, I think everybody is at some stage or other actually got into their heads that this is like a big kind of circular movement, even if the circular movement's on a kind of a plane. But what have you got in your head since in the downswing? Where are you trying to move your hands and club in the downswing? And I believe that a lot of you are trying to move them on the shortest route back down to the golf ball. And what you've actually got to visualize is yourself being in the middle of a big wheel. If the center of the wheel was in your chest and you would have your hands on the, on the tires, in what direction would you actually be moving the tires in order to rotate the wheel towards the target? And the fact of the matter is, you would actually have to apply pressure to the tire in that direction in order to get the rotation to the target. And your brain doesn't want to do that. Your brain is saying, I want to go straight out in this direction. What I want you to think of is moving the golf club, and especially the club head, away from the target. Now I know if you look at professional golf swings, you never see them losing this angle. The reason that you don't see that this is an optical illusion because what's actually happening is that their hands are actually losing radial deviation or hinge, but it's bending back in another direction. So from the front camera, it doesn't really look like this angle is changing very much. If anything, it seems to be getting smaller. The reason for that, of course, is the inertia. First of all, when you press out with your hands, the club head doesn't want to go with you. The weight of the club head is stopping that. Sinking your arms is applying more pressure to the club and creating more inertia. So although, although you're pressing away, the club is pressing back and rotating your body at the same time, exactly the same thing, more inertia that your hands have to resist. In fact, I'm saying to you that if you can press as hard as you like with your hands and your wrists, as long as your arms and your body are rotating and swinging down at the same time. If you can get that yin and yang of rotation and arm swing against wrist action balanced out, you're going to have a feeling of keeping pressure on the shaft down and through the golf ball and get the best strike you've ever had in your life. Just because you are changing the sequence of events which are happening in the golf swing by starting with your hands. So if I'm saying exactly the opposite to what you've ever heard, how can what you've ever heard also be correct? Well, the fact is that biomechanics is basically saying that everything moves by using resistance. So you have to press against something to get any kind of movement into your body whatsoever. That means if I press my golf club back using my wrists, my wrists have to press against something and they will press against my arms. My arms have to press against something to help my wrists and they will press against my shoulders. My shoulders will have to resist the arms by pressing against my trunk, my trunk against my hips, my hips against my legs, my legs against my feet, my feet against the ground. 
So the instant that you start applying pressure with your hands, you will feel it in your feet. So if you've got pressure plates on the ground and you start to do this, you will see an, an immediate build of pressure on your trail foot at the beginning of the downswing. Not because you've thought about pressing into the ground, but because you've thought about casting the golf club somewhere over there in the corner. Can you understand why we've all been doing it wrong for so long? The fact is that what you see in a two-dimensional video is probably not what's actually happening. And because the majority of golfers who are any good at this game learnt as children, they're not really totally sure about what they're doing either because it's natural to them. They can't feel muscles working because the muscles aren't really working as hard as our muscles work when we swing a golf club. So they're not getting the feedback and it's all about as a, a, an adult golfer understanding what is it I've got to do. The only way for you to find out whether I'm right is to go out and try it. Imagine yourself standing in a great big wheel with your hands on the, on the tires and press the tire away from the target. Get the club shaft to go almost at a 45 degree angle in your feeling back behind you, which will encourage you to turn in the opposite direction automatically. But think about it logically. If I turn the wheel here, the axis is going to turn as well. And that means my hips, which I've turned back away from the target, will automatically start turning back towards the target. And they will apply an, a pressure against the hands, which will resist this casting of the golf club and give you exactly what you want, width in the downswing. It will stop you collapsing your arms and getting trapped and it will get the trail elbow in front of you, not by pulling it in, by pressing it away. I know this is all new, but I promise you this will work. Go out and try it. If it does, I expect a like and maybe even a subscription. If it doesn't, well, goodness, you've tried enough rubbish. It can't be any worse than what you've heard so far. On that note, I wish you a good one and we'll be back very shortly with the next one. Till then, bye-bye.